Hello everyone, uh, hope you're all doing well. This is just a quick, uh, well, I suppose you can guess in the uh, title of the um, video here. Yeah, this is just a quick heartfelt moment from me <coughs> uh, in regards to the uh, passing of Jeff Capes yesterday at 75 years of age. Uh, as an Englishman, obviously, I think every strength within the strongman community everyone's always going to have a a hero an idol you know someone who made it for that country or whatever or whatever you like and uh, jeff capes was that for british uh, strongman i think he definitely paved the way uh, and even now i mean if you asked someone and they asked people of a certain age to name a strongman or name the first strongman they'd heard of, or something like that. Nine, I'd say nine times out of ten, if you're talking to a, a British man, or a British person, they're probably going to say Jeff Capes. He was phenomenally well known. Uh, a nice little um, touch for me is that uh, he won World Strongest Man in 1983, which is the year that I was born. So. Uh, that always feels nice. That and he gets a mention in uh, my favourite uh, sitcom, which is Only Fools and Horses. Uh, one of the Christmas episodes. Uh, there's a riot going on in, in the, uh, the estate where the main characters live. They live in a tower block. And uh, one of the... Like, they live with their uncle. And uh, one of them says... He says, what's going on out there, Rodney? And he's like, they're rioting again. Why don't you have a look yourself? And he, the uncle says, you're joking. I might get a brick come through the window. And uh, Rodney goes, we're on the 12th bloody floor. Aaron. What, what do you think they've done? Invited Jeff Capes along. So, you know, that, that's, how, that's how known he was. He got a mention in the, uh, well, at, at, the, at the time, the uh, greatest uh, sitcom, uh, at, again, at the time. But yeah, so re really sad to hear about uh, Jeff Capes passing away. Uh, wishing all uh, my best to his family, his friends, his loved ones. And uh, yeah, he, he, he will always stand as a mountain, if you like, for the, for, for the strongman community. And uh, I know he... Um, he won a few Highland games as well and uh, shot put in uh, he still holds a record apparently for uh, the British shot put which was set in I can't remember I think I, I think I heard it was like 1980 or something like that so no <laughs> no one's beat his, the British record for that long so uh, yeah so that's it so yeah Sorry, sad to sad to hear, but um, yeah, we wishing uh, wishing his family and that all the best. Ta-da, Jeff.